one of the major advantages of the airwave management platform is the ability to look at the network from a global view and then be able to drill down. So airwave, we actually separate our network into what are called groups. So we can have logical separation. Oftentimes this could be the number of buildings or different environments, maybe by location, state, country, etc. We can go into a particular group, in this case our Acme Corporation, and then get a high level view of what's going on in the group. So at this level we see, much like the home page, the same number of users and bandwidth, but this time just for the group that we've named Acme Corporation. As we scroll down the page we can see things like the different devices that make up this group, any kind of alerts, as well as audit log information about what's happening at that group level. If we want to take a step down a little bit further into our network, we can click on, in this case, a controller. So I can click on the controller's name and get to the controller's monitor page. On the controller monitor page we have information about the controller, the type, IP address, etc. And then our comfortable graphs again of number of users and bandwidth, but now for this individual controller. And as I scroll down I can actually see the different APs that are being managed by the controller and once again any kind of alerts or events regarding that controller. If I want to get additional details about a specific access point I just click on the name of the access point and now we have the access points monitor page. So much more information about this access point it happens to be a dual radio device. We can see all the different SSIDs that are being used as device, information about its serial number, bandwidth, and even location. We have our graphs again, uh, this time of number of users and bandwidth, but we notice that there's multicolor. And the reason for that, as we click on the graph, is that we have dual radio device. So we can actually see the number of users on the A card versus the BG card. And you also notice on this page that we can see all the individual associated users that are connected to this specific access point. And if we wanted to, we can actually drill down to the individual radio mode as well as the SSIDs and authentication type that's being used by those end users.